Hey everyone, it's Kirk here again at Opshelf. So in this video, I want to give a big shout out to Etchem. Um, I don't know if that's how you say it, Etchem, um, who's in the community. So if I mispronounced your name, I'm sorry. Um, but I want to give a big shout out to you and thank you so much for doing this in the community because I wanted to fix one of my automations, which I did yesterday on the last video or a couple days ago whenever I posted it. Um, but it basically, he brought up a really good example of how it may not catch the assignment risk for iron condors specifically the way that I built it out. And so one, hopefully I'm humble enough to actually fix any of these things and do it in an ongoing basis and process. But number two, I think this really highlights the power of using and leveraging a community, especially the option alpha community for this, because had we not have a community of people who are willing to help like this, we wouldn't all be able to do this type of thing where we can help each other, share ideas, share automations back and forth. So part of my journey is, of course, learning how to do things a little bit differently. I didn't even think about this potential way that it could work when you use an iron condor for managing assignment risk, but he did. And here's what he basically put together in here. Is he put together this long thread. I'll add to a link in the video on YouTube so you guys can see this. Um, if you're part of Option Alpha, if you're not, you got to log in and check it out. But he basically put together my automation decision path, again, specifically for iron condors. And then he put together a different one that he thinks should work. And so he actually said, I believe the logic should follow something like this, which actually is 100% true. To totally make sense, absolutely, absolutely is the better way to go about it, which is actually to group them together as different legs together. So in this case, he's grouping them as legs. So the short put leg, the short put leg, the short put leg, and then here, the short call, the short call, the short call leg versus what I was doing above was I was grouping them similar to how I did them for the one-sided call spreads and put spreads, which was I was checking either the short call leg or short put, then checking the short call and short put. But the problem is, is that if you get into a situation where you're trading, say, an iron condor like this, this is a really bad picture of an iron condor. So, but you're trading an iron condor like this, and let's say the stock is starting to challenge your call side on this side, right? Well, what you could actually have is you could actually have the put side extrinsic value be really, really low, just naturally because it's now really, really far out of money and just low value in general. And that could basically tr trigger some different types of decisions and automations to go out to close positions when you maybe don't need to close positions or whatever the case is. So it was actually a really good catch. So good uh, catch on his part. Um, thank you so much for doing it. So I want to go in and correct it now so you guys can see how I do it. So I'm just going to go into my automation library here and then I'm going to go into my EV folder. Actually, it's not just scanners now. So let me just fix this EV portfolio. If I can spell it portfolio. And so now what I want to do is go into this assignment risk management. Now, again, the cool thing here is that it's currently attached to three bots. I have to attach it to the other ones. But you can see that if I make a change in here inside my library and I save this, it flows through to all the other bots and automations that are running. So I'm going to uh, toggle down here the short put spreads and short call spreads. And this is the decision that we want to focus on. This is the one where it was grouped basically a little bit different than, than what we needed to do. So we needed to do some better grouping here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this first one here. I'm going to keep this group here because I want to keep that short call strike, but I'm going to move this up and there's no way to drag it up. We don't do drag and drop. So you just basically have to go in here and go down to the short call leg data. Just to add these really quick. Uh, chance of being in the money is greater than, and I'm using 70%. So now that gets added here. I'm also going to add the extrinsic value of that leg is less than 10 cents. So I'm going to do the short call leg and the extrinsic value is less than 10 cents, which is what I had in here before. So now that's all grouped. You can see it's all grouped in one single decision. And then we're going to switch these to and statements, switch this to an or statement. And then we're going to start moving some of these around also. So we can actually just get rid of all of these and basically just recreate this down here for the short put leg. So we're going to do the positions underlying price is below our short put leg. Then we're going to also create a group for this one. And we're going to do the uh, short put leg chance of being in the money is greater than 70%. 
And then we're going to do one more again, which is the short put leg. We do the short put leg. Extrinsic value is less than 10 cents. Okay. So now that we do that, we have the appropriate groups here. We keep these as and because these all have to be true or all of these have to be true. And that would effectively help us manage our, our condor a little bit better for assignment risk inside of our bot. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change, save it over here. And you can see that the change is reflected here because I'm going to save this into my library of automations. It's going to save across all bots that are currently using this automation. So again, thanks so much for you guys' help on this. As always, I hope that this is a good video just to show you how we just kind of adjust and make changes along the way. I'm certainly a fan of continuing to learn and I appreciate everyone in the community jumping in and helping out and definitely uh, for the suggestion here on this adjustment. So that's that. So I'll go add these to the rest of the bots that are running here and we should be good to go. Until next time, happy trading.